I don't have it now. Okay, no map card. Thank God. Holy shit, I can play. We can play. I don't know. Lethal Vars is uh, really bad if they're like tanks like that. I thought I thought Sion would not be a problem in this game, but I was wrong. I was mistakenly wrong that game. My bad. It's gonna be nothing. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. That's a bit of a trouble game, not gonna lie. Sol, Sol is opiate. Post winner. Can pick jungle, please. The mid, the mid of jungle. Go pick. Yeah. We pick jungle mid here. We should do that. They get counter big support here. And then if they pick ADC or support here, I can counter them in bot lane. Could have Jimmy, Aron Soljin, then Rakan. The Gina Mimi Bottler, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, Kalista is not good against Earl's soul, actually. Shad, what is good against soul? What is good against the new soul? Tristana is not that bad, I think. It's good against Jin. It's good against soul, I think. It's good against Yi. I can ult him away. Tristana is probably best here. Yeah, I can just jump. I can double in this guy Perma. I can, like, double into this guy and just, like, R him away or something, maybe. I can ult this guy away, as long as he doesn't Q it, so he can't have Q up. Uh, I go cleanse against this, I go cleanse against this, he has R, he has WQ. Shad, can I cleanse anything from this guy or not? I don't think I can. This guy doesn't have stuns, I think he says knockback, or like knockups, I think. Uh, then Malphite, I have to flash this, I have to flash or stopwatch this. Uh, I have to be careful his flash R, he could just have flash R, the fucking asshole, so I'll go cleanse this game. Let's go cleanse, I'll go lethal, this, 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 this is good. I'll go cut down, they don't have, I mean they have a lot of tanks, I'll go this. I got this and this and this is good. This should be fine. Yeah, they have tanks, I'll go cut down. They have Malphite and a Mumu. Should be good. Alright, so they have Alden. They have Conquer, they have another Boner. No Boner here, no Boner. Have Dark Harvest. Is it 50%? What is Dark Harvest? It's 50% or 40%. It's something like that. Um, we have to attack this guy. This guy can roam. He's playing Iron Soul, but he will scale. I think this guy scales more. Um, if this guy lands W, then maybe we can engage. If we have a good wave, maybe. We have Guardian, okay. We have a little tempo. Extended fights are good for us. Uh, don't get forced up by this guy no matter what. Uh, this guy. I mean, we start Q. We send CS to dodge that. Uh, if this guy uses Q on my Rakan, we can fight. I go. I want Doran's playing against Mimu because he has no poke. I kind of want longsword against Jindo. I go Doran's play. It's fine. I have healing from Rakan Q as well. It's fine. I'm doing more. It's fine. And that is why you should always start W. I mean, not always start W, but that's why you should never level a one. Because if I leveled, if I leveled E when I spawned into the game, I wouldn't have W here, and then I would probably get I'm queued into I'm queued two maybe, and then maybe die. And starting Dublin to stun is not that bad. Like it's honestly fine. You can't push as much though, but it makes it easier to last on turret, at least. Um, yeah, this is easy. He has Doran's Blade, we have more healing because we have uh, Rock and Q. So even trades are worth it. If Amimu has no Q, if he uses on Rock and, like I said, I'm gonna fight. If I don't have E, we can't fight at all. Tristan without E is useless. 
We have Kane. Kane is probably gonna power farm. He's not gonna gank. G is probably gonna gank. I mean, actually, no. I think G also power farms. I think they're both gonna farm. But we never know. We'll see. Hmm. G. Yeah, okay, they leashed. I think they didn't use mana though on the leash. So maybe they didn't. Maybe solo. We don't know. We'll see. We can't assume he they leashed though. He could have started topside here. He could path bot side soon. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by that. I also mean you know, but I, don't, I really don't want to get hit for free. Four shots hurts like a motherfucker. And besides, like, range only gives, like, what? Like, 14 CS or 14 gold? It's not that bad. I'm gonna be level 2 first. I'm gonna be ready to ping here. Ping, 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 ping. Okay, go insta, double E. Here we go. We can't kill this guy. He has heal still. We're not gonna go. I'm gonna double in this guy. Get the damage. Just auto, 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 auto. This is a heal, guys. This is a heal. I'm not gonna flash. This is a heal. There we go. Got heal for free. Not bad. <clears throat> we don't have heal for Rakan though. He could gank soon. I'm gonna ward soon. He could be on blue right now, but uh, he's probably sorry about side. He's probably gonna path upside though. But we never know. Yeah, so they should respect the fact that we get to level 2 there and they will engage on them. So I don't know why they didn't do that. Get minions here. I wanna dive. I wanna dive with the gene here, but I don't have to. Yeah, I should save the E. I think I should save the E and just dive with the gene here because if he dies, he loses the wave. It's really good for us because of the if we suicide dive with their gins, ooh, that's not good. Out of E. With that, I'm pretty useless. Mm, I can probably kill Jin soon, though. He's not gonna be level 3 for a while. I'm gonna level 3. When I'm level 3, I can go on this guy, probably. Because he won't level 3. He won't level. He won't get HP from the level. Well, wait, what? He's level 3 now? What the fuck? How is he level 3 at the same time? When I got Soul XP for a bit now? What the fuck? Makes no sense. Unlucky. They can't really gun me. This is good. Yeah, G is top lane. They're staying. Rakan will come. We can kill them when they come. It's really good for us. I don't have the mana for WE. I need 115 mana right now. It's very important to try how much money you need for your entire combo. Very important. This guy has nothing going to this guy soon. I have enough mana now. It's 150 actually. It's 150. Actually, no, it's 115. I wanna dive with them, I just wanna shove a dive, shove a dive, please. They're not a heal, they're not have anything, just dive them, it's so free, it's so free, it's so free. He's not here yet, just push and dive. Push with me, push with me, push with me, he's gonna base now, push with me. Yes, shove, shove, shove. I don't need to for dive, I'm just gonna need DD, it's fine. There you go, I wanna cancel that. Let's get this, this guy, uh, he, he should not get this wave, there's no way. Let's go, go! He's dead. <laughs> I mean, it's worth it still. Like, it's worth it. I mean, we got the kill and he lost the wave. It's, it's still worth it. It's just kind of cringe. <clears throat> I should just auto it one more time. But I, I think he was tanking. But I was afraid my Rakan would just stop tanking. And then yeah, if I auto instantly, I would take the third shot. I thought he was like, he, like he dies from the E and then I run away from third shot. But I couldn't do that in time. So perhaps it's better to just get double reset faster. But yeah, they, they can never stay here. It's really bad for them. So what people have to realize is like, you can't always have the ideal of way management. You can never truly ever have it in every game. Sometimes you just have to do the best in the scenario. Like in this case, Jin should just recalled, like lost a wave, recall. Hang on this guy. Should be free kill, no? No. Oh. He almost killed me, but you know, I don't know. I have I just came back from base, he has no items yet. He didn't buy yet, so it's pretty weak. I guess going this one. Not like it's gonna grief. I knew Jean was not there either because he had base, so Jean's not here yet, he's coming. He was sitting there. We can't really dive this guy, I think. I don't really trust the um, Rakan to dive. Maybe we should be able to dive this guy. Okay. I mean he's healed now though. It's worth it again. That's worth it. Yeah, so this is like another suicide dive. It's, uh, he dies, like Rakan dies, but Jin dies, so it's worth it. Oh, fuck me. I wanna get level 6 here. I'm just gonna flush. That should be fine. Nah, should be fine here. I don't know, Solo's not coming yet, so. 
Please run away here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. What the fuck? I'm out, I'm out, I'm fine. This guy doesn't know who to go on here. And the kid instead, I think. He's gonna miss. Ah, I mean, I mean, we got the kid, it's not that bad, honestly. Let's get this, get this, get this, get this. Yeah, so... Mm, if you can... If you can dive the enemy to see, and you can trade uh, like your support dice, but the enemy to see like dice as well, it's always worth it because it doesn't matter. Like if your support dies, then it doesn't really matter because then like the ADC gets soul XP and soul gold, and then the uh, the support dies, but then they get they have a small death timer in early game anyways, so then they can actually roam after dying because uh, the ADC has to recall anyways most likely after fighting. Um, and also, like, it, it's just good. It's just really, really good to do that. Let's get started. I mean, there's nothing. I can probably get Jin here. I mean, there's no mana as well. I mean, he has enough mana, actually. Honestly, I could probably insect Jin. I don't have to flash, though. But if he's too far up, like, if... Well... If I have some space, I can doubly, potentially, earn him back into turns. Maybe, we'll see. And then kill him, we'll see. Or maybe, maybe with the Mimu, we'll see. Nah, we don't see Yi, we don't see Mimim, but actually I'm in base for sure, no? He has no mana. Yeah, I'm in base, because he would have shot otherwise. Okay. He's gonna kill this anyways, I can't freeze, it's useless. You can't freeze with Tristana. I need Wobble 2k now. Very important, always, always recalls, very important to get the proper recalls there. I have 1.2k recall or 2k for Berserkers and Kraken. I'm not gonna gun this guy, because I just don't know where he is, and it looks like an obvious bit. I mean, we can cure the wall, I and mean, he could be here as well, it's just not worth my time. It is just way too risky. Is he truly just inting? I, I, I can't fucking tell. I mean, I mean, it's obviously on the wall. He's just inting. I don't know, man, I can't even tell. Because in my eyes, I'm like, okay, I don't see Yi on the map. Jax is fucking kind of deep pop sided right now. Obviously, Yi is here, right? I'm sorry, he wasn't. Yin just decided to int a bit. We can't have this guy, I'm just gonna get plates. The thing is, I'd be careful, when you play Tristana, when you eat the turret, you'd be careful because he could take the aggro for you, and that's not that good. Okay, chill, bro. <laughs> this guy's hella aggressive. I mean, he's really tanky because he got a lot of money in this game. But that's a good thing, like, yes, he has a lot of money right now, yes, he's fucking tanky as shit, but I mean, he's gonna be useless later on, it doesn't really matter, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. He's gonna piss out. Yeah, we can't kill Amu. He's way too tanky. He has Conqueror as well. Fuck, I don't get my base actually. I could stay. Could stay here. Yeah, I'll stay. I got one potion. I'll just pop one potion. Stay in. Uh, so, this is uh, fake reset. So, fake reset is when you just don't walk up the lane. Do you don't show yourself anywhere and you stay in shadows. Because now they don't know whether I recalled or I stayed. And this is called fake reset, right? This is very useful. Um... Oh, he actually... I thought he would aim up there, not gonna lie, my bad. Yeah, my bad. He got shot down the worst. At least I get Kraken, it's not too bad, I guess. But yeah, Jin getting shot is not that good. Mm. This ammo is kind of cracked. Dude is dead, not bad. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, Drake is in 20 heralds up right now. He's taking it alone though. TF is top. So I'll go mid now, because um, there's no bot wave, they're pushing it, and there's mid wave coming, and he's pushing it. They're on assault, so I'm gonna go mid. Yo, dude, these are assault players don't realize that it's outscale, by the way. This guy probably tried to fight a lot early game, but they don't, they don't win early game. Now, Jax is getting in the wave, which is really fucking bad for me, not gonna lie. I'll just go bot, get the wave, it's fine. Whatever, let's get both They might go on Drake. We don't really want to give second Drake. It's not too good to give it here. We should try to contest it if we can. Because, um. I mean, Amimu has ulti, I think. I'm not sure. I mean, it's really hard to win fights. I have Kraken, but I don't think we should go too deep here. Because I think they can stack a lot. But he still has W, by the way, so I can't really go too deep here. You can go now, though. Okay, at least I get one for two, it's not too bad. 
Yeah, like, I mean, the moment Yi has no W, I can go because then he can't survive my E no matter what. Like, he can't, the thing is, he can't Q my E. So the only, like, the only possible outplay he has for my E is the damage reduction from W, right? But the moment he doesn't have it, then I can just go in and use my E and this is fucking dead, you know? So I know this guy dies, um, and then I have it in my head. I have it in my head that he will die, right? And I'm counting the time. Because it's very important to know if someone's gonna die, because then you can, like, play around your W and get the reset, you know? But, yeah. I, there was no way I could escape there at that point. But, you know, at least I got two kills. Not too bad. Amuma has 7 out of 14, uh, 13 kills, which is quite good. Because, um, like I said, he's gonna fall off really hard. It would be a lot, of a lot worse if one of their carries got it. I'm just gonna go bot now. Also, chat, uh, I'm just saying, guys, I'm unbelievably tired right now. And I would like to mention that um, today I'm going to record one or two um, exclusive Patreon games. So it's not going to be on stream, and the only way to access the educational games will be on Patreon for three bucks a month. But, um... Because I, I found out that, like, I, honestly, like, when I do educational games off stream and I just record it, I tend to do it a lot better, actually. I don't know why, it's just something about it. So I'm definitely going to start doing more exclusive games like that. More often. Like, I did, like, an Astral uh, exclusive game I, yesterday, I think, or something. And it... People really, really, really liked it, so... Go on this guy, but... Uh, what? Okay... Rock and... What the fuck is going on? Let's try and get this, bro. We can fight, but the movements are out of cleanse. Ah, uh, they're fine, I'm seeing the bot. It's fine. This guy has double them, I'm able to as well, I don't want to go too deep here. We could fight, honestly, with... Um, Jack's but kind of witch, but... Rock is also HP. I don't really want to like, force a fight here. It's not worth it. TF is also top lane and died. Yeah, Malphite will be a bit of a pain later on. My CS is so shit this game, man. It's just a fiesta game. Honestly, like, I actually think that climbing on support will be easier than it is, you know, Support is really broken at the moment. Because I think if you play support and you shot call to your teammate and you tell them exactly what to do at all times, I think that's really good. You can go here. I can just maybe insect. Trigger's up as well. I'm gonna get his alone. He's gonna double away. I want to be in a bit of a safer position here. No flash or so. Not too bad. You will probably come. Yeah, he's here. TF is not here. He has no ulti. We can go on this guy though. We should be able to go on this guy. I did a lot of damage. He has no W now. He's dead. Can't run my ulti. I have, I have a cleanse though, but... You know. Can dodge that. Let's go front to back, front to back, front to back. Gonna jump in here, ward. This ulti here, W again. And then like that, W back. Yeah. So that's a good way to use W there, it's like... Um, because the thing is, I don't care about Jin too much because he's not that fed. That's why I pr actually he's dead. So I prefer actually killing the um, the Amumu first because the Amumu is actually really strong. And if we keep a lava, he's just gonna like E and Q and he's be annoying as shit. And I would rather just get out of him, like get rid of him because I'm cracking right now. If I don't actually have the items to kill the Amumu, like at all, like if I if I just can't kill him at all, it's gonna take forever. Then I would just ignore him and then go in front back uh, like backline. But I mean, when you play ADC, your job kind of is to kill tanks, and then like you have to itemize into killing tanks. Like I have to go front to back this game. Like I'm not gonna be able to ignore that Mumu and Mal fight. Like I'm gonna have to go to dumps early this game. Like I need to go like into Navori now because they have a big front line. It's better than Infinity Edge here, and then I'll go to Dom next. It's a bit because I need to get it. It's just very important, right? Um, so I'm in base now. I get Navori, really good recall. Like the thing is, the reality is in this game, I have to I have to dodge the Malphite R. And I dodge that. Now I think, like, how do I counter it? Now I counter it with either one, I wait for him to use some other teammates. Two, I stopwatch it. Three, I flash it. Four, I buffer it, but then I still take the damage, which hurts a lot still, so I don't really like to buffer and Malphite R. And it's kind of greedy. Um, and now G, I have to track his W, right? Because that is really tank. If he's no W, we can kill him easily. And I have to track his Q. And if he has no W Q, then he's really, really squishy. And we just one sure. I'm really installed, I'm not really sure yet. To be honest, he's a new, new champ. 
Uh, mm, I remember I had to dodge the Q and R, but I have cleanse to dodge to counter that. And then Jin is first shot and just like him being in general. So now Malphite has an R. Now I remember I've ready to cleanse it, ready to cleanse, he's dead. Okay, now no no he's to okay, okay, he's confronted back here. Just going to the Jin, he's dead. As well, I'm gonna go Jin here. G has no Q, he has no W as well. Let him away, so he can't damage me. It's very good to ulti someone that deals damage. Especially if you E, because you can get one auto off while you're in air. Um, or you can like auto, ult auto, and get two autos off, and then they can't really auto you while like going back. Uh, and then you can actually like... So like a combo you can do is like, you can like E, and then you can like auto twice, and then auto, R, auto, insta W, because then like, you will be here, and then you ult them here, and then you W, and by the time they're here, like, you're on on top of them, and you just one-shot them. You know? is yeah. Something like that. I, I can show you guys. Like, I'll show you this game, actually. I'll try to do it as well, at some point, maybe. But I have no way, I'm really strong. Mm, that's also why cleanse is such a good summer, because if I don't have cleanse, and it's also why I don't want to waste cleanse in this game, Like I can't this guy. I mean, we sweet, thank you. And the Lordums. Like, it's it's really bad that they can survive long, you know? Um, but yeah, so it's a pretty simple game, but the thing is, like, if you don't think about the threats in this game, it's not a, like, simple game. Because you you shouldn't react, right? Like, let's say Malphitar. Malphitar, right? Like, I don't want to react on top of this. I want to predict it. So first, I need to look at the map. I need to be like, okay, where's Malphite? So Malphite question mark, right? Uh, if he has TP, he could TP behind me. TP mind, you know? And then like, if he's question mark, then be careful. If you see him on the map, then you know his location. And then it's all about, okay, he will either now, he will either R me, or he will R flash. Now I have to be ready for both of these things. So now I predict that one of these things will happen, and now I can react upon the prediction of this happening to me. But if you don't think about these things in general, then reacting to, like, out of nothing, just out of nowhere, is really hard, you know? Like, you know, like, Faker and these great players, they almost never, like, used to react to something. They will always, like, have it in their head and be like, okay, this could happen, I'm ready for it, I'm ready to react upon this, and now I predicted this happening to me, you know? Like, now I'm looking, okay, so now I'm checking Malphitar, right? Okay, I'm using FKs here. I didn't mean to W. Okay, Malphite has an R. So now Malphite has an R for at least like one minute, right? So now until 20 minutes and 20 seconds, he has an R. Now it's about YW and YR. I mean YQ. This guy has an R, I'm not scared of him. He can't arm me here. Drake is not spawned. I'm gonna go top lane here, right? Now our install could go from base to top lane. There's two bots right now, we don't see Yi. We see our soul uh, mid. So now Yi and Malphite could be top. Now Malphite has no R, right? And it's probably gonna go for this wave because it's a big wave. He could be Krugs or he could go for this wave right now, we'll see. But I should... Okay, our soul is coming, be careful of that. He has no mana now, buddy. I'm gonna go on this guy, cancel this guy. I, I can't really damage him too much, but you know, it's, it's still good. Get some damage off, he has no mana. Huh? He's dead. What stunned me? Wait, he has a stun? Wait, what stunned me? Oh, is it his ulti or what? Oh wait, does his ulti stun in the middle and then in the around it, it knocks up? There's no way it's a stun in middle and then a knock up here. You're capping. New stacks. So you're telling me, okay, so normal is a stun. And then when he has the upgrade, so not, I say, normally it's a stun and the outside nothing, right? Use the damage. But then when it's an upgrade, it's a knock up on the outside too. That is fucking broken as shit. That is broken as shit. Oh, the whole thing is knock up, it's not even stun. I'm so confused. The champ is fucking confusing. Let's go, Drake. 
My bad. So, like, for example, right? In that case, right? I died because I don't know what this champion does. So, the first step to getting great at this game is knowing or having a rough idea what each champion does and their abilities. Right? Because if I didn't know what any of their champs did, or, like, a decent rough idea what they can do, right? How the fuck can I play against it if I don't, if I don't know what's going to happen to me, you know? Um... Wait, this one shot this way. Okay, Malfoy is an R. Let's go front to back, front to back. I can't double in here right now. Let's go front to back here. G. Okay, in the back line. I'm going front to back here. I got pulled in. Uh, so okay. I'm MMQ, I'm MMQ, I'm MMQ, I'm MMQ. Go now. Okay, I'm MMQ. No mana, I'm resolved. Go now, resolved. Get the reset, get the reset. Jump on uh, a Mumu. I can kill this guy now. Ah, he's actually faster. So. Okay, maybe instead. We get a mid, maybe. All right. I mean, the thing is, like, we, I don't think we can end mid. We don't really have a wave. It's dead. Yeah, we can't end mid. Let's go top. They have two spawn now. It's not rig. We shouldn't get rig. It's whatever. We can't get solo. It's better. Let's get this. It's fine. Yeah, Nova is really good on Tristana if they have like a decent front line. Because then the amount of like ease and Qs you get is insane in the fight, and this a lot of damage as well. So, it's really good. Uh, so now I'm thinking they have AD, AD, AP, AP. They have Frozen Heart. Um, they have quite a bit of HP. I could go Blade of Rune King, but I feel like I kind of want more survivability. I think I should go BT here. It works against both AD and AP damage. I need lifestyle as well. It's very good here, especially with uh, because I went Alacrity. I didn't go uh, Bloodline, so. I'll go this, and I'm gonna sell this, get BF. Next week is 1.5k. Actually, this is 1k, no man. This is 1k for uh, BF, BT. This is gold. Uh, we should go bot lane here, because now we have inib, inib, now we just go bot lane, right? Now, ideally, we should have Nash here, because the thing is, um, if you have Nash here, and you have, they have three inibs down, you just win the game, because then the minions will just end the game for you. That is the easiest way to win the league, by far. So unless they have like, some insane wave clear, like they have fucking Sivir and... I don't fucking know, like, use insane wave clear, then they can't really do nothing. Let's go bot lane here. That should be fine. Now, we're not the vision. We're not the vision. This guy's here, here, here. So nobody's here. Rockin's dead. It's 45 right now. One second, guys. Malphite R. Now, the counter shot, I don't have stopwatch. I have flash. Flash or wait for him to use his own teammates. There's two options right now, right? G, once again. Q and W cooldown. Aurion Sol is ulti, being in the middle of the ulti. Uh, specifically, and being inside the fucking pull thing. A Mumu, actually a Mumu QR, Jin W now, because I have no cleanse, right? So now, if I want to play it safer, what I can do now is just wait for cleanse, right? Because it's a lot harder to fight without cleanse, because a Mumu, a Mumu can literally just like maybe like Q onto my teammate into R flash. You know, Q into R flash. Very, very hard. But if I have cleanse, I can just cleanse it. But now I don't have it for 30 seconds. So now, ideally, you just wait. Bing shill, take it easy, no risk plays. Tell your teammates to shill, wait cleanse, and then you win the fight for free. Or like, it's a lot easier, you know? Okay, dodge that. Okay, what the thing? Malphite is top lane right now. Okay, G, G, Q, G, W, I'm in QR. 20 seconds, cleanse. So in, when I have cleanse, it's only G, um, QR, I mean G, uh, G, W, Q, and the Arian Sol. Uh, nothing actually, because he doesn't have ability now. Fuck. That's bad. That's really bad, buddy. So now cleanse, now I'm not scared anymore. He's gonna kill Amumu, not scared anymore. Now the big problem there is actually, like, that was terrible. I should never get engaged on, because I had five, five seconds to get cleanse. Oh, that's really bad by me. Hi guys. Did you guys? Now guys, I would like to mention guys that I am going next level with educational by the way guys. Like my goal is to teach as many people. Like I want to leave a mark on the league community. My goal is to teach as many people about League of Legends as possible. But in order to do that, I need to myself become really really good at every role. That is why I'm trying to get challenger in every role right now. Because that way I can teach everyone, every role, everything about the game. 
one place for everything. You know? Because I'm not going to be around forever, guys. And I want to I wanna leave a bit of a mark. I want to leave a bit of a legacy. I don't, I'm not going to be here always, guys, you know? Um, so before I do that, I want to, you know, I'm going to do that. You're president of the champ. But anyways, guys, so... I actually, I'm an ADC main, I'm ADC challenger for many years. Now, we played a lot of support games on our main account today. It's challenger now in like 10 hours. Look at this, guys. Support. Type 1 if you think I'm gonna get challenger within 